the things that we know today that the only constant is change. People fear change? Of course, absolutely. But that's not an option anymore. I want to reflect a little bit and share a message to CEOs of B2B. So you're a business and you're selling to business. What I've observed over time and maybe more critically over the last two years that they do not comprehend that things have changed in their field. So big construction companies, uh, logistics, uh, oil and gas, education, all of these heavy industries, what are you doing? You know, pharmaceuticals and so forth that are, you know, directing their work to businesses, not consumers. Do you know how much you are missing out when you think that you are not a brand, you're a corporation? Let me tell you that the buyer journey has changed. This is not about your salesperson who is neat with his briefcase, his, um, you know, well cut and shaved with a lovely suit. Yeah, that's a big part of it. And what does he have? He has a website, he has a brochure. <laughs> Funny enough, these brochures, I still get those that I've seen um, 10, 20 years ago. Maybe now they're in um, e-format, PDF, not actually printed. But you know what? The content is the same. You start probably with the vision of the company with a very nice photo of the CEO and the leadership team. Uh, the values, which of course has to have sustainability in it. Any buzzword that you know is uh, running around the place in the media. But listen, why is that any different from building a consumer brand? I get into that discussion with a lot of CEOs lately. And you know why? I'm going to be honest. I want business. And if 60% of the work that I've done are brands that are target consumers, well, that does not stop me from getting business from B2B. Because if you think about it, what is the process of building a brand? It's a thinking process. When you put in one of those job announcements and say uh, he or she must have uh, construction uh, experience, pharmaceutical experience. When you build a brand, the process is a thinking process. You start by diagnosing your equity, your skills, your capabilities, whether physical or talent, financially, and you analyze the market out there. Out of all these corporates that are your target, what are their pain points? Exactly what you do with consumers. I was just recently attending the uh, uh, Brand Week Florida, uh, hosted by Adweek. And one of the presenters was Xerox, a relaunch of a 100-year corporation. What did they do? Again, they went back to the basics. What is the pain point of the corporates we are serving? right? They want convenience, they want solutions for their employees. Part of the pain point are those employees that have to be dragged on and on for longer hours and miss the, the precious moments of their loved ones because they have to stay late in the office as the tools they have are not appropriate. But guess what? Xerox have the solution. So yes, we deal with people. Corporates are humans. And what are you doing about it? Nothing. You're still thinking the old way. It's business to business. Well, let me tell you, you have a lot to learn from your colleagues in marketing in B2C. There's so much data out there uh, around it and so many tools. Invest in brands and invest in proper communication.